Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review. And this one is on uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter and uh, Hailfire Droid Spider Droid sets from 2008, of course. So, interesting fact with these covers is that since they were released in the January wave of 2008, they which had both of which had this red Darth Vader for on here, but then later on that year for the summer wave, they which released these again, but with the white and blue clone trooper border, probably to fit clone wars, but yeah. So, not sure why, but whatever. And, and of course, did and of course, another instance of, uh, of that happening was with the Bonacle set, Pharaoh and Skarmix, of course, but yeah. So on the front of each man, you will have the two Star Wars logos, and also different borders, like I said earlier, and also a picture of the sets that come within, and also the set numbers, of course, and yeah. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And then add for Lego Club, add for some of the other sets from the time. Then add for two uh, Lego video games that there were at the time, of course. And a little promotional poster for Clone Wars or something, but yeah. And then all the features of the set. And the pieces included in the yeah. And then the last steps. So now on to all the mini figs included with both sets. Which as you can see. Oh hang on. Okay. So going from left to right, first we have uh Clone Wars Anakin or with or other one. Or first time of ever having Clone War style Anakin. And also, now let's mention the style of these figs. As, as you see, it does kind of emulate the CGI look of the Clone Wars movie and series or show on here, like with the oddish eyes, kind of similar to that as we had with Exo Force and whatnot. But in this, for these of which it's kind of alright, but at least they did fix that in like uh, Mace for Mace Windu in 2018 or so, but yeah. But besides for that, that is front torso print done quite good and not at all need like printing, since, well, since it's an older figure, of course. And of course, wielding a blue lightsaber and the hilt part just pure gray, since. At this time, they were mostly gray because in earlier times they were did of course do chrome silver, but but they did go back to regular silver in like 2010 or 11 somewhere on there. But yeah. Well, aside from Anakin, also we get is uh, R2D2, but same style since or same kind of one since 1999. But. Uh, not very much uh, head torso print, head printing, but the torso printing kind of similar to later versions, but let's see. Although it does kind of cut off a little bit, but at least good they fixed that in 2009, the following year, of course, but yeah. And also, for the, and also do get, well, for the Hailfire Droid one, is at least you get two of the regular battle droids, which same as they've always been since 1999, but straight arm version, same since to the year prior, of course, and but still good to get for army building, and also to get a battle droid leader or something, same with a yellow torso piece, and in the center, uh, which a super battle droid, 
I wish same as from 2002, but in gunmetal gray for quite some time. But also not much to say on that. But at least still great to get for army building in here. And if look from the back torso, for the back of which no back torso printing for Anakin, nor any double side face, of course. And so I guess that's about it with all the figs here. And yeah. First off is the smaller build, the Spire Droid set. And if you wonder why I had it lying flat there, is because two of these legs are just kind of wobbly. Well, since it's an older set, uh, of course, but yeah. But aside from that, at least done quite interestingly, of course. <coughs> Whereas all four of these legs, which comprise mostly Exoforce Droid, uh, arms and bow droid legs, and also odd pistol pieces. So this is right there, of course. And also, and for the front part of which, using the old style telephone piece for holding the eyes, of course, and also a little turn on or a little pistol on the front part of it, and also to get this uh, ball turned on top with a simple lever piece on there, of course. But Aside from that, quite basic and all, but yeah. And that is about it with this one. And now on to the Hailfire Droid. So this is which being our second and only other, or second version that was, well, although a little similar to the 2015 version, but at least that version did come with spring launchers when this has uh, flip fire missiles, of course, but although some of this kind of similar to the uh, uh, Technic based 2003 version, of course. So, unlike with, so, like the 2015 version, do get large clear dome pieces and, of course, these uh, chain mail, chain type pieces around to emulate the wheels, of course. As for the front part, of which would has a couple of these stop sign pieces on here. Oh, and, and also do get a single stud in there and on the side, and chi slopes on the sides, probably to represent the uh, eye bit of it, of course, and also two uh, curved slopes above and for the back part of which, which holds like eight of the uh, Flick fire missiles, which were common things then. And also, uh, as for the back part of which, as you can see, does have this little hanging outfit of it, of which you which you can hold on to and roll right along. And does roll really well, so good touch for that for the sake of playability. And yeah, and also these wheels do kind of adjust a little bit, but I think this is probably the best way since to go all around Geonosis with. But yeah, and that is it with the Hailfire Droid. <coughs> Now on to what is of what is going to probably the very first Clone Wars set, Anakin's Jedi Starfire, of course. Well, I guess this was probably there to get y'all hyped for the Clone Wars film and series, of course, or since it was in the first half. So that probably makes this the very first Clone Wars set ever. But also, we did get one other version of this particular one, which was in 2018, but at least we did get plenty of other uh, Jedi Starfires for others or, uh, over time, of course, but yeah. So like, as for the front uh, part of the ship, of course, which is not so pointed, which, but at least has some curved in side piece 
kind of plates and, of course, tiles with stickers on. And those do get a couple of ratchet joint type of pieces, but acting as top part blasters, of course. There's, and also plenty of like curved and jagged slopes all around, of course. And also some good greebling with the yellow side plates, of course. And the cockpit piece, same as what, what is used with most other versions and also other Clone Wars sets, of course. And also a, another curved slope, but with the Republic symbol on there. And also this uh, large flag piece acting as the back fin. Uh, as you can see, good perfect symmetry, but except for the Republic symbol on this one. And also the main feature is also one of the main features is if you notice in there are the uh, are two orange uh, uh, plate pieces there just sticking out and you wonder why there's a hollow space on there which I'll go over in a moment but isn't there to fit your R2D2 minifig into of course but and also, unlike with the giant starfires on the show and in the movies, they usually go in this way. Well, unless if you tilted the head sideways, but as you can see, they barely ever, and they just never got that to fix. But not even in the, at this time, but yeah. And that's where the cockpit piece, which you can lift off. And, it's, and there's enough little space for the one fig, of course, and also do you get Daniel little uh, printed control panel slope on there, of course. Just take your Anakin fig and can see them in like so. And as for the bottom part is also underneath you do get a pair of flip fire missiles with a blue trans blue cone piece on there. Her, obviously, and also the three bits of landing gear, of course, that all fold in quite well. As for the back part of which, which does have the like thruster engines, of course, kind of similar to on most uh, airplane sets that there are, and what this other trans blue cone piece is. Now, if you tap on that and or tap on it and R2D2 kind of comes flying up. Or almost if you tap it hard enough, of course. But also, one big flaw with this set is not a single spot to clip Anakin's lightsaber onto. But, yeah. but at least they kind of fixed that with later sets. That's but yeah. Okay. It would be nice if they also did it, but yeah. For now, let me get these on. Okay. So overall verdict, I think these of which are quite good, quite cool sets for the time. Like at least one of which was to of course get you a little hyped up for the Clone Wars film and series that was yet to come at the time of its release. But yeah, but although for the Jedi Starfire, I think of how just Anakin and R two D two, which included there, well, I think it's kind of lacking for that. Although what I think they could have included is probably C-3PO or or at least Padme. Also kind of suiting to the Clone Wars movie, but yeah. Or even Rata or Ahsoka. Or maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. But for Hailfire Droid, I think also could have included like another Super Battle Droid. Also good for army building, but yeah. But at least... But I'm pretty sure some of y'all would probably like getting multiples of this. 
this for your uh, Valdroid armies and use, but hey, at least they kind of improved, but at least it will improve for the 2018 ver or 2015 version of it, and same with Jedi Starfire with the 2018 version, but same minifig selection that, but without the Clone Wars look on Anakin, but at least these are kind of signs of the times, but yeah. And if and so now, if any of y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.